Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. Our word today is from Mandy Woodhouse, Brisbane, Australia. A word for the weary builders. After a week of intense warfare and challenge, I encountered the Lord's ministering spirit in my kitchen this week while making a meal. I saw a cloud of white, much like morning mist. It entered a corner of my kitchen where I had just been facing the wall, trying not to cry. No one else in my home could see this cloud, but the weighty presence of God could be felt. I realized that this was an invitation, and as I stepped into the cloud, I hit my knees in worship. Hot and raw tears flowed down from my cheeks as the ministering presence of God did a quick work in my heart on that floor. His presence was real. It was weighty. And though it took only a few moments of encounter, I walked out encouraged, full of hope, and with a very quiet mind. I felt like this was a prophetic word for the body of Christ in this season, so I prayed into it. And this is what the Lord said. I am removing weariness from you in a second. I am removing grief from your heart. I am touching the numb places with life. New life, life that sprouts and multiplies in an accelerated rate. No longer will you hide in the corners with your face to the walls, hiding the pain and the exhaustion. I will send my ministering spirit, and I will do in a moment what would take months or years in the natural, says the Father. You will be able to go forth in my power when the daytime breaks forth, and you will be able to move in the darkest moments. I will lead you when all seems easy, even life appears to be hard. I go before you, and I make a way, and I will not depart from you, says the Lord. Go back to the kitchen. Continue to prepare. Do not stop what you are doing before the weariness hit. A season of reaping is coming for all you have sown, and there are more preparations to make. I will help you, says the Lord. Can you see it? I am a good father. I am releasing my ministering spirit to my bride. It will come in unusual and extraordinary ways, and it will be an invitation into a healing so that you can keep building, keep creating, keep cooking up what I have given you in this time. Expect the unexpected. I see you. Exodus 13, 21. The Lord is going before them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them on the way and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light that they might travel by day and by night. In Genesis 16, 13. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, I also here see him who sees me. What a powerful word from our sister Mandy. Let's pray together. Holy Spirit, we thank you for your word through our sister. Lord, I stand in agreement with my friend today. Though we may be weary, though we may be heartbroken, though it may seem, Lord, as though places in our life are numb, we look to you. We look to you for the new life, for the life that sprouts and multiplies in an accelerated rate. Lord, we know that this is not for our own good. It is for our own good, but more so, it's for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.